Maybe I'll have his job next year. Quips James Haskell as the Ocado delivery van pulls out of his driveway in Northamptonshire. Unpacking his groceries, fish, courgette spaghetti and chocolate milkshake, he instinctively addresses the next question. There is no news, before you ask. My agent's away in New Zealand. I'll tell you one thing, I'm not going to Bristol or London Irish. His girlfriend, Chloe Medelli, the daughter of TV chat show hosts Richard and Judy, offers an opinion. I'd like to live in Bath. She jokes, having just finished a workout in the garage turned gym. Despite starting in England's NatWest Six Nations finale against Ireland, Haskell is two months away from becoming unemployed. Out of contract with Wasps, the 32-year-old, one of his country's few impressive performers of late, could prove a bargain buy for a premiership club. Look, if I was prepared to leave England it would have been a done deal a long time ago, he says. It would be a bit more exciting if I was Dan Carter or Owen Farrell getting flown in to meet directors of rugby by private jet. I'll be lucky if they charter me a canoe. I've got three years left in me. It might be a hiding to nothing after the Six Nations but I still want to play for England. There has been little time this week to dwell on the humbling Six Nations campaign. Haskell returned home on Sunday morning, watched a movie, prepared three after-dinner speeches, trained with wasps, proofread his latest book and experimented on the DJ decks in his living room. There was, however, a moment to digest some premature conclusions which prompted the RFU to declare that Eddie Jones's job is safe. It's madness, says Haskell. Obviously losing three games was hugely disappointing but some of the reaction is a crock of s. How many games did we win before the Six Nations? We lose three and people think rugby's football. People wanted to kick everyone out and fire everyone, but how many of those offer an alternative? It's absolute crap. Eddie's not a f idiot. What he's done since the World Cup is unprecedented. I'd hate to work in football. Chelsea managers come and go like the wind. It's cretinous that people think you can just bring in a new coach and you win. The world would be an 80% better place if every at angry David of Norwich combusted when they made a comment online. Someone said to me on Twitter that surprise is the key to attack. All right mate, shall I go and find a bag of invisible balls? Look, I've played in New Zealand and it's not like the All Blacks play a secret game that no one else understands. People forget that the All Blacks took a long time to win a World Cup. They bossed it up in France in 2007. There's no magic wand. Developing a team takes time. Haskell talks from 11 years worth of international experience. The walls of his plush countryside home are decorated with photographs of his career. His favorite is a canvassed image with Dylan Hartley, Danny Kerr and Mike Brown from the 2016 Grand Slam. It took us so long to win it and it was a nice two fingers to everyone who'd slagged us off. He says, personally I've been written off more times than parliamentary expenses and, whether I'm involved or not, I believe the team will bounce back in a dramatic way. So, was it a feeling of resignation in the changing room after the defeat by Ireland? No, he replies, sipping on homemade barista-style coffee. It's very different to when I made my debut in 2007. People are more in control of their emotions. It's quiet and guys have their heads down but you quickly move on to the next thing. Haskell will make an immediate return to the Wasps' back row. Sitting in second place, his side are pushing to secure a home semi-final, while Leicester are chasing a playoff position. Haskell has been mentoring rookie flanker Jack Willis, who was named Premiership Player of the Month, and believes his jersey will be left in good hands. Jack's been round here and we've gone through his game tapes, says Haskell. Eddie will be looking for solutions and he might be someone they look at. He's got the attributes to play for England. After I retire, 